Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group G Round 1 match between Nuru and his blue shambling undead up against Matabalitos and his pink shambling undead. So, for a little bit of background behind these guys, Nuru, I remember him taking part in the Blood Bowl 2 World Cup. He's French and qualified via the FB Road to the World Championship competition. And Mata Belitos is the only, I presume, Mexican competitor here. And he won the FMBB qualifier. So there you go. Looking at the teams, Mata Belitos, I do not like what he's taken here. He's taken two tackle whites. If there was somebody else, um, blue, somebody, uh, somebody else took two tackle uh, wraiths on Necro. I don't like, I don't like that at all. Um, double tackle there, and then somebody tells me this is strip ball. Really don't like that. Um, but uh, you know, a block ghoul is good, and a couple of guard mummies. Some people prefer protecting the ghouls. Um, he's benched a ghoul, only playing three ghouls here on offense. And uh, Nuru has taken a more standard guard and tackle, double guard, block and wrestle formation, fielding all four ghouls on defense there. And crucially, Nuru has these incredible halfling cheerleaders. So that, that gives him a big advantage. However, he has just gone for a normal coach. If we look over here, uh, Matapolitos has gone for the white dwarf, not so good. Default um, cheerleaders, so you know that's not great. But I really do like the design that he's got on these mummies, so you know that might give him a bit of an edge. Will it be enough to beat the halfling cheerleaders? We'll find out. I mean, one thing's for sure, although I don't like the tackle uh, on these two whites, he'll get use out of them probably against the ghouls, won't he? So. Okay, 3D gets the power. And yeah, this solid defense, oh wow. Glorious. This no, solid I defense does expose this mummy to the blitz. I will defend. He doesn't take I will it. Defend. Finally, no ads, Jimmy. Whoa, thank you very much, Petey Poos, absolutely glorious. Oh, it's because he, okay. So I thought he would have tried to free up one of the mummies and then blitz this mummy, because if you remove mummies, you know, it's it's huge, right? Undead go from a fantastic, amazing team to rubbish humans if you remove a mummy. So it's absolutely monumental if you can remove a mummy. Game defining if you can do that, but So the solid defense actually, you know, he didn't use the opportunity to hit a mummy. And now these both mummies are gonna tee off onto zombies. Which, you know, while that's not completely amazing, it's still, you know, it still punches, isn't it? Which is good. Or oh, maybe he's actually going, maybe Nuru is going to blitz the other mummy, actually. Gets the removal there. Can't actually tell if any of these are skeletons. Apologies. <laughs> oh, is that one a skeleton? Okay, yeah. I really don't like... Matt of Belitos' team then. Oh wow, he just knocked him into the other square. <laughs> he, he, he hit this guy so hard, he knocked him into the same square as the other one. <laughs> that was that was a big hit. Look at that. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> and there's a Kaz. Oh wow, so that's solid defence. Makes a Kaz and a KO and really puts Matabolitos on the back foot now. Yeah, well, they're going to carry on sharing that square for a little while. Man, honestly, the stacking was great. The Doom stacks were great. I hated it when they changed that, honestly. Wow, 
makes the dodge. But this is this is very dangerous, isn't it? There's a gate dodge through here. There's a wrestler there. Things could happen. I mean, I guess the danger is your space cadet yourself here. Um, you know, go for a ball sack, end up going out of position. Oh, there we go. Look, they're not occupying the same square anymore. It sorted itself out eventually. Yeah, the danger here is that you can just get yourself into trouble by going for it and failing for it. But like, going for it and failing, but you have to go for it, right? In fact, he's not even relying on the double dodge through. He's just putting the double rushing to get the uh, guard in. I quite like that, actually. Oh. He could have come here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And instead he went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did he double rushed? He double rushed instead of just punching him. Did he not see this? That was weird, wasn't it? I also liked not not having this guy. I like I, I like I like not moving this guy first, right? So that he could have followed him through for the for the pickup. Yeah, I don't I don't like I don't like just moving in there. I would say go all in on this. But that was a double rush. Wow. Gets the full power. And the AV break. And yeah, they could have had this guy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and picked it up. I mean, he might have done, but it's two more rushes. <laughs> like, two rushes is not insignificant. He must have just not read the field correctly, is the only explanation, in my opinion. It was still going to be a rush through here, right? It was. It would have still been a rush through there. So he was just adding the two. He was just. He was adding two unnecessary rushes. There was still. There was always going to be a dodge. Well, he doesn't get the ball back in hand. So that's very dangerous for him because Nuru is going to probably scatter it here. Imagine. No, he doesn't. Okay, he's just going to keep his mummies on the ball. Oh, I mean, I, 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 I'm not behind whatever this play was. I'd say just put him down there and punch the mummy, right? Oh, he's got two though. got two players here. Wait, no, this is yours. Oh, I don't. I can't tell who's who. The, yeah. <laughs> right, sorry. Sorry. Let, let's go back. Let's go back. This is Nuru's player. This is Nuru's player. And he didn't punch this. He had to punch the mummy, right? Like, he's got a mummy on a mummy. And this is his player, so he can just he can just move this guy in here and punch the mummy. So if you're not going to scatter with this hit, I just don't see the point of dodging here to like... Yeah, okay, so I didn't like that at all from Nuru. Right. Conversely, <laughs> love this from Mata Belitos does the dodge, and then smashes his mummy with his mummy, right? Like, of course, that's what that's what the game's all about. And then he gets the KO, so, yep, fair play. Fair play to Matabolitos there. Rolls a full pow. This is bad, though, right? Did, did he got this happen to himself? This is, this does suck. Gets his, gets use out of his tackle. And then 
tunnels him as well. So this is a great recovery by Matabolitos. Equal numbers on the pitch. But he seems to have a pretty strong situation. But yeah, yeah, both players are on one mummy, yeah. Oh well not that strong now. Regen fails. And now his tackle gets to Well he didn't he chose the ball down, but you know his tackler gets to gets to make the block because he's got tackle. Doesn't follow up so he gets a 2D here. Puts him on him for next turn. Scores for the pickup in the tackle zone. Ah. And now the mummy is going to say thank you very much and smash him to bits. Ah. Push him to bits. <laughs> Give him a very vicious push. But now, oh, I don't like this because if you push him, you're stuck to make him dodge again, right? But he powered him, so it's all right. I'd just blitzed with the with the uh, ghoul, right? So that you just guaranteed get him off. And then you can go for the pickup. You don't, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't want to go for this guy and not, and not, and <laughs> not beat him off, right? You have to. <laughs> have to uh Yeah have to get out of that way. Oh one D there, that is pretty rowdy. This ball does not I mean it's not the safest ball I've seen in my life, that's true. Oh, yeah, we found the we found I mean it wasn't easy to protect it, right? It wasn't easy, it was basically impossible to protect it, he's down loads of players. I don't know why you think um, that's funny, Dave. When I was just talking about the Blood Bowl game, and he had to, he had to get the, you know, he had to get that tackle zone out of the equation. What else could it have meant? So he makes the wrestle dodge. Reroll comes in, uses the wrestle to pop the ball, but has nobody to recover for himself. So it didn't matter too much, did it? Mummy on mummy violence doesn't follow. Push is fine because he gets him to pick it up. This is one situation where, like, you could argue over blocking, right? You could have blocked this ghoul, and if he powers him, then it frees up this skeleton to give the assist on that blitz. And then it means he's got another ghoul to go upfield. I mean, this looks absolutely, <laughs> absolute potato. I'm, like worse than last time because there's now there's a tackler right here, and there's this guy to assist, there's this guy to blitz, and there's this guy to pick it up. So yeah, this is now this is looking. Absolutely horrendous for Matabolitos. <laughs> the turn seven surf plan's incredible, yeah, yeah. So here you go, tackle. Ooh. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Right? You could have hit him from the front. You could have gone one, two, three, four, five and pushed him in. That to me has to be better than pushing him out. Oh no, I guess not, because then if you push you can put this guy, yeah, you've got this ghoul to go in there as well. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, I still I still would have pushed him in. Personally, and now he's got the ball in a bit of a 
cage and then fails that dodge. Turn seven, he's got the surf! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's just blocked him continuously until he got rid of him. <laughs> Here we go, one day on the ball with strip ball. Oh, well. Oh, he cast himself. <laughs> Block would have worked a little bit better than strip ball in that situation. Wow. Incredible. That was, that was pretty funny. No offence, of course, but it was just funny, wasn't it, that the guy... Uh, didn't regen? The, yep, the ghoul, the ghoul did not regen. Never lucky. Um, Blue Ball will match you with 700 TV halflings. You can, you can in the game options or something, or team options. There's some, there's some kind of thing in the in the game screen, like bottom left of the of the team screen. There's a thing that can you can add to your TV for matchmaking. I heard it was strip. Somebody said it was strip ball. The game won't let me look. Literally, when I tried to look last time, it wouldn't let me look. And it's not letting me look now. It's like, no, you've got to watch this blitz that you care so much about. It's not letting me... Oh my god, it's not letting me look. Sure hands would have the dice, right? Everything with a reroll has the dice on it. This does not have a dice on it. And it is indeed strip ball. Yep. So he's got, hey, the, the, the mummy runs back. So he's based the ball with a with a mummy, that's okay, isn't it? And he was trying to get the tackle on as well. And uh, can we blitz this, maybe? Yeah, rush, and then he gets to go to the wrestle. Gets the pow. And a KO. Both have a critical KO now. Gonna do this 2D or not? No. I guess he couldn't reach when he moved in there. So there we go. 1 0 at the half. Mummy gets back. Mummy gets back. <laughs> But as far as permanent injuries go, we're down a ghoul and a tackle white, and these are down nothing. So it's only 10. Oh, wait a minute. No, nobody's dead, are they? Nobody's dead. So it's 10 for Matabolitos, 11 for Nuru, and he's all, not only is it 10, he's also down a ghoul and a white. So yeah, it's looking really rough. For Matabolitos now. He's got a great team name though. He's got a great coach name and a great team name. So, you know, it's got that going for him. Yeah, down players. 1 0 down. And Nuru's getting the ball. So, yeah, this is about as bad as it gets. <laughs> about as bad as it gets for Matabolitos. But, you know, maybe he can turn it around. Like, it's not over. Like, it's really not over. The, the fact that he's got both mummies, he can just randomly bang out a mummy himself instantly. And then, uh, you know, things can start turning around. He can still get the draw, can't he? Like, he can't, he can't win anymore. Basically. It's basically impossible to win at this point. Um, but this is good, by the way, by Nuru. He's got these guys one in front, so that if he fails the pickup... You know, they're not, they don't have to be right, they don't have to be right on the ball, right? You know what I mean? They don't have to be right on the ball. They're still guarding you getting to the ball. Like, not that they need to, because they're, they're still even further away, but like, there's just literally no need to stand people right in front of the ball. You see that people do that a lot. There's really no need. This is much better. Bit of a gap. And then you've got, you've got a cage as well to go into. But, um, see that all the time people like base the ball before the pickup, and it's, it's so, 
not necessarily a lot of the time. Comes in with 3D. Got to protect his mummies though. Um, Nuru did a good job of protecting his mummies on turn one. And it looks like this mummy, these, these, this mummy is not protected. I mean, basically, neither are. But this is the one that's going to get bliss, I'd imagine. Oh wow, we're fouling with a ghoul and gets a removal. I mean, he has got the high roll, so I don't hate it as much as you would expect me to hate it. <laughs> Put it that way. Like, obviously it would have been better doing it with a zombie, but he just didn't have one free, did he? So yeah, just try and, try and get lucky. So he's going for this just with a normal one. I don't know who's blitzing then. But I mean, the mummy has to blitz, but who's he going to blitz? Doesn't blitz the ghoul. I might, I might have gone for the ghoul there, even though it was only a, only a pal. Like such a high removal, isn't it? But I've also followed to get him further away from the, the like, revenge mummy hit, right? Like, this is instant, instant mummy hit here. Instant. There's really no one else he can blitz, so I really like to follow. No, at least, at least make him rush to hit your mummies. Guess we're going to have to 1D this mummy now. Basically have to. It's a full pow. I did think about this push away. It's pretty good, isn't it? It is pretty good. It does free up his mummy to come around and blitz wherever. But it is quite nice stopping the block. Um, the the other thing is though, if you pushed him out there, you would have you would have stranded a mummy for a turn. But only a push. Mummies smashing mummies. What a what a time to be alive. How's the thing by moving this guy back to the middle? It's like his kind of safety or whatever. Gave up on the fight a little bit there, didn't he? And then made use of that to get the stun. Which might open up something down the left there. But I mean, I don't think we're caring too much about opening things up anyway. We're just smashing mummies into each other. <laughs> Might see a might see a rush blitz here, right? For that mummy now. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Thank you very much, Sifonero. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Yes, Matabolitos does have to get the ball. Yes. Yes. That is very true. Cannot underestimate the fact that he does actually have to. Like, glorious Efenero. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, so the thing is, you know, I say it all the time with elves, particularly wood elves. Like, it's hard when if they score at any time, you just lose, right? So, and ghouls are movement seven. So. This was really a tough challenge for Matabolitos. He's got to he's got to be constantly like you know aware of breakaways, constantly trying to cover breakaways, but also somehow, you know, so he's got to cover against them, and he's still got to somehow try and get the pressure on to like get the turnover himself. So it's really really hard half for him. 
as fun as just mashing the mummies together is every turn. <laughs> it is tough. He's got to. He's got to. Get, he's got to make something happen. Wow! And to that end, he rerolls that hit. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. Ugh. I wonder if he's gonna like try and foul this ghoul. Run back and foul the ghoul. Maybe he should have blitzed the guarder and then got on the ball, I don't know. It's tough in it. Fouling the ghoul's pretty strong, but only a stun. This maybe should have been a blitz from the white. Because I quite like getting forward this turn. Like, I know he doesn't have to, so. I only quite liked it. I'm not saying I would have done it. <laughs> but I did quite like getting forward. I guess he's just confident, right? He doesn't. He doesn't want to, like, you know, risk anything going wrong. He just has to turtle. But that failed dodge is a very exciting KO. Nine players now for Nuru. So Matabolitos is now a player up. Two players up. Kaz. All of a sudden, my play to run forward looks quite good, right? Because now, with those removals... Nuru is in a lot of trouble. Oh, he's got to reroll this. Also, probably should have moved this ghoul first, right? I don't know where. I don't know where the correct square is, but he probably should have moved him first. Either on there or on there, probably. And this one's just going to get a hit. So this is probably overblocking, right? This ghoul, put him over here. Get him on here. Make, make it about this ball fight. Oh, he's fouling with the ghoul again. It's a removal, oh my god, Nuru's like three players down now. Jesus. And two of them are mummies, one of which is stunned. No, we can just run back though, can't he? Yeah, it's turn 14. Oh wow. Yeah, just run away. <laughs> so now, actually, this ghoul coming here looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh, fair play. Fair play to Matapolitos. I wonder if he should have gone later with him, right? Maybe he should have blitzed the tackler. And then, like, one, two, three, yeah, get the mummy on, right? Blitz the tackler, get the mummy on. And, like, maybe this guy could have come round. I don't know how far he could reach. Maybe he could have got a bit further. Maybe he pushed him away and, like, fouled the tackler. I push him in, which isn't really what you want, is it? And then gone three, four, rush, fouled him. Okay, oh man, what a, what a brutal second half. Oh, maybe he did run out of time, yeah, that's a good thing. Like, watching the replays, he really got... Oh my god, he three dice upheld him! He three dice upheld him, and that gives him the 2D here to escape again. Flip me. And he dodges forward. And another one. And there's no safeties. Oh my god. 
What a play, what a play by Nuru. Triple, triple red dice. That's outrageous. Doesn't get the knockdown, but can hit him again. Doesn't just go through the 4 3. Gets that, gets the full power. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and a stun. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now he gets his guy scoring range. Don't need to reroll this. Oh, he does reroll it. No, I, would, I just left it for the next turn, right? And then. Because then you just might, like, because you're going to have to, like, go next turn anyway, right? So you might as well just have the free chance next. Like, what's he going to do? He's got nowhere near you. He's just got literally nowhere near you. <laughs> oh, cast his mummy. <laughs> cast his mummy. <laughs> Yeah, so I think it was definitely better to not re-roll that there by Matabalitos. Oh, he's got this tackler, okay. So Nuru's coming for the 1D. And gets the knockdown. Even more than making the uh, re-roll look worse, right? Making the re-roll look even worse there. Oh, dodges. And dies. Wow, what a game! What a game. No rerolls, but still a decent chance. Gets the push to there. 3 2 2 3. Makes the pickup. Oh! And he could have had a reroll. He could have had a reroll left. Also, by the way, look at the line that this guy's on. Couldn't he have just been two squares up? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He would have still been in range if he was two squares up. Mind, he would have still failed that. But wow, that was. <laughs> I thought it was going to be dull. It was incredible. It was actually an incredible game. Yeah, wow. Incredible game. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the thing is, you just don't know what's going to be an incredible game and what's going to be a dull game, is it? But we do know there's 12 undead in this tournament, so there's going to be plenty of undead games. And I, so I thought doing the other one live would have been better, but that was an absolutely... I mean, the one that we saw live was a pretty decent game, but this was incredible match incredible match this one um so there you go congratulations nuru commiserations matabalitos thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic